Okay, Dream 2, uh, Fairlight products directed at uh, high-end audio post-production, demanding applications. Fairlight legendary for creativity and very uh, productive system, systems. What we've got here is a range of products. We're showing here a, 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 the ability to configure whatever system that you want. So effectively, we're going to be taking you through various different surfaces. Let me talk about it. Let me, let me go, go for ahead. it. Okay, Dream, digital recording, editing, and mixing combined now with Crystal Core 1 technology, okay? This is a very large, relatively large dream surface here, seven base surface. It includes both a Constellation XT and on this side an Anthem. One of the reasons it's here, it's big, it's nice, okay? But there is also all the different type of panels that are available to you, okay? Uh, they come in different chassis sizes. It can be a one bay, this, two bay, three bay, four bay, or five bay chassis size, okay? You can introduce these wedges if you want to, to start mixing them up and get a wraparound feel. Two bay is very nice. You can do a one bay if you want, we call that. Uh, we call it a wombat. A Jeff. wombat, yeah. Can you move your book over just a bit here? Pardon. Fader panels, which are all here, watch out. We have what's called here is advanced fader management, okay? So these are 10 layers, or there are 10 banks of faders where you can actually assign any channel that you want to a particular fader, so you can construct the console as you want. Uh, you can put in blank panels. Any one of these panels are totally modular. They can put, be put wherever you want them to be put. This is the inline panel, which is here for an inline feel. Please come up and have a look at this afterwards because it's uh, equipped with 72 OLEDs. What's an OLED? Oh, uh, organic light emitting display. Very high resolution of LED displays. You can see them at an incredibly viewing angle. So engineers that are used to working with an inline type of feel, this is the type of module that they would need. Optional touchscreen. Let me get up. I got to move around so people can see. Which is here. Okay, that can be that can be running video. It can be running any one of these screens. It is a touchscreen. It can be left set, uh, left side or right side. Okay, this is the Constellation XD panel, which is here. You can see it's more for post because it's equipped with a. Yeah, thank you. Just move that around here. It's equipped right here with the binnacle, which is front and center. So all you have your editing functions, which are here. This is the channel select panel. This is where you're going to be able, I'll show you this in a bit, to get all into your internal routing for the system. You won't need a patch bay with this system. This is the cap panel. This is more like a digital console interface where we will call a particular channel and get to its entire processing. You notice also, this is where I can get to my three, three stages of dynamics, my eight bands of EQ, all my auxes, and some special panning thing. We also have zoom windows that will come up for dynamics like that. EQ when I touch them, aux is here, and all the panning stuff. This is the Anthem. Would you like to talk about the Anthem a bit? Yeah, what Anthem is, is a multi-configurable console. What that gives you is the ability to have application-specific consoles for different tasks. If you want to be doing a post-production session during the day, it's got all of the Constellation post-production tools in there. If you want to convert the studio to a music recording and mixing facility in the evening, uh, the Anthem allows you to uh, reconfigure the desk in a traditional analog style console feel. If you're familiar and comfortable working with split consoles for recording, or if you want to get into an inline vibe for, uh, for, for mixing, it's all out there at a switch of a button. There you go. Surfaces now.